So uh, there's times when you get bad information and you're going in and they're telling you there's two people and there's six and you do get ambushed. And when he's going up, he needs to come back down. So that means guys are setting up downstairs to, to kill him. He was behind cover, he wasn't seen. It's quick, it's easy, it's fast. Nobody sees him, nobody protects him. And uh, he takes off from there. You don't have to speed away, you just drive away. Globalization sign. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter. Take cover. Shots fired. Shots fired. Well, uh, somebody spotted me there. I would do exactly what he's doing. I take off from the opposite direction, under cover. He's at the higher ground, which is good. I'm just not sure why he's not wearing any kind of helmet or uh, with with a visor so he can lift it for the shot. I think, again, for detection, I'm not sure why he's not wearing a helmet. So people would be able to identify him and with a mask on top so he can lift it when he's going to actually do the shot. To use a motorcycle, yeah, it's a good use of not using any other kind of motor vehicle because you can get up and down side streets. It doesn't matter about the traffic. You can get into the woods. You can you can take uh, side off off road ways of going and, and trying to avoid detection and the police. So yeah, it is good. Uh, the only thing I think is it should be more of uh, a follow-up. A second guy with him, one's the driver, one's the shooter. He sits on the bike. He never has to get off that bike. And uh, the guy is the guy that uh, maneuvers for him while he sits backwards on that bike if he has to. And, and he can hit his targets and, and take it to the next one. But it is quick, it's efficient. No, he wouldn't be the shooter. It'd be a driver and a shooter. Done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'm putting you out of business, mother If you fail a mission, you're losing the ability of no, letting them know that you're going to hit them. So they're going to take a lot more precaution than they did initially. And the uh, second thing, depending on who you're doing it for, what the fallback is on you not to accomplish what you were supposed to. Would they hit you because now people know that you're the guy that did the, the, the hit. There's two, several things that go on after that if you miss something that's supposed to be accomplished. Back up! You board a mission if your uh, intel on the subject you're trying to hit uh, isn't accurate as far as security, as far as what floor he's on, as far as how many guys he has with them, is there uh, dogs, alarms. So if, if some of that stuff's not accurate, whoever did that the initial intel for you, if that information's bad and you're not going to be able to to hit the guys you're trying to hit. Uh, you, you don't want to do it at a time where it's not going to be successful. So you wouldn't want them to know you're there. You would hold it back and do more work on, on the subjects you're trying to hit and make sure it's accurate before you try to accomplish it. Yeah, I mean, that, that happens. And yes, I was, uh, depending on who's giving you information. A lot of times you've got guys giving you information, especially when you're going to do something that involves money. They're going to get a percentage of it. Their information isn't exactly what they say it is. A lot of, you'll hear guys always tell you, well, there's a million in cash in there because they want it done and they're greedy and they, they're really not sure if it's there. They think it's there, but they don't have proof it's there. Same thing when you're doing these things. They'll tell you there's no dogs, there's dogs. They'll tell you there's no alarms, there's alarms. So uh, there's times when you're getting bad information and you're going in and they're telling you there's two people and there's six and you do get ambushed. There it goes. Finally, the mask. What I was talking about earlier. Hey, baby, you miss me? I was starting to. You know, I mean. That was actually a good hit. It's a good hit. He's wearing what I was saying earlier. You know, he's wearing a helmet, but with a mask on it, and with a clear mask, he can actually pick it up if he has to. You know, for a sight, so he can get a good look at him and, and an accurate shot. But uh, he was behind cover. He wasn't seen. It's quick. It's easy. It's fast. Nobody sees him. Nobody detects him. And uh, he takes off from there. You don't have to speed away. You just drive away. Yeah, you do. But it's it's usually not on a on a, a, a one shot situation. You do one, and maybe the next day you have to do something else to follow up a partner of the guys. But uh, very rarely, unless they're together, would you be hitting guys uh, two or three at a time. Yeah, without a doubt, you'll have multiple assassinations, but you'll have multiple shooters. If something goes wrong on the, uh, a one shooter, then the, the mission's not accomplished. And the idea is to make sure that they didn't know they were going to get hit. 
If you give them time, they could take off, they can hide, they go on the ground, or they try to hit you. So uh, you want to make sure that if a gun jams, if a, a citizen comes on and tries to stop it, the police, anything like that, that you have multiple shooters and you accomplish what you went there for to uh, get the guys you're trying to get. Collateral damage is always a concern. Uh, you don't want to do what you see a lot in the street. These gang members just AK-47s and they're just firing away and those bullets go somewhere, they bounce somewhere. It's not what people think, they shed through cars so you can't sit behind a car. You don't want to hit an innocent child or a woman or uh, another guy. You're trying to hit your target. You hit your target and, and they're criminal guys. There is fallback from the police, but not like hit somebody who's innocent. Then that brings all the heat, and that's the thing you want to avoid. Well, when you when you hit somebody, it's usually you're, you're following him for a couple of weeks. You're trying to get a routine on him. So if you know that he's going to come out of a building at two o'clock every day because he goes to somewhere at two thirty, you know that that's where he's going to be. So everything is timing. You want to make sure you have uh, timing of the guy you're trying to hit. You want to also have upper ground wherever you're hitting him. You don't want to be on even even ground because you can see everything from a better level being up top. And then you want to have an escape route. So all that stuff is put into formation to play before you do that uh, hit assassination. So you want to make sure that go and you make sure that accurately at two o'clock, this is where he goes at eight o'clock. He goes for breakfast here at three thirty. He's on the road here. So you could choose a location that's quiet, that's easy routes to escape and that you have the upper ground. You don't want to be on level ground because somebody could pull in front of you and, and you know, it, it, it diverts your vision. So you want to be somewhere where you have a good look at them and you can hit them the right way, especially from a distance. I mean, through the video, the, the, the construction site was probably the worst uh, spot that he hits anybody. He's going into an elevator, an outdoor elevator. Those off during free construction. It's one of the worst things you can do. He's got no cover in there, number one. Number two, he doesn't know if there's an emergency stop button on the other floors. Uh, three, he doesn't know how many people he's encountering, where they're hiding, if he's coming up and down. And when he's going up, he needs to come back down. So that means guys are setting up downstairs to, to kill him. He wouldn't get out of there if that was a, a legit hit. He would have been killed or caught. The hit that he did at the end was a good hit. He's got a helmet on, so if people see him, they don't see his face. He's got a, a clear mask on the helmet that he can lift up and do the shooting if he need be. And he had an escape route and he seemed to have a plan of knowing when uh, that guy, the gentleman would be where he would be at the time. So that was a, a, a good plan hit the last one. Now, some of it was realistic, some of it's far-fetched, but it's a game. It's kind of cool. Uh, it, it was fast moving, action. I would have changed some of the things that was were, were done with it to make, make, make it a little more realistic. And even the wording, I would have did some things with the, uh, the talking that was going on. But overall, I thought it was pretty good. Actually. For more experts react, check out Gameology's YouTube and Facebook pages. I'm John Elite, ex Gambino enforcer. Check me out Instagram, True John Elite. Thank you, everybody. See you next time.